Hope you are having a great day and today with a awesome triple setup for our laptop to improve our productivity. Now I'm using the latest Asus ZenBook S13 OLED review right over here. 13 inches with Windows 11 Pro, but we can also use our MacBooks with Mac OS and even if we want to use our Android phones, we can do so. Or even some gaming consoles, which is a setup that I don't see personally for myself, but it's possible. Now, one note is that on the website, I did check that it says it's not compatible with M1 and M2 CPUs, but that is not the case. I did use my MacBook Pro 14 inches with a great experience, by the way, and it works flawlessly. So any operating system that we want. So let's stop for a few seconds. I did start recording this video a few days ago and actually the M1 is not compatible with two external displays. It's limited by only one output. Stupid I was idiot. using my MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip, which actually supports two external displays. If we go to the M1 Max, it will support up to four external displays, but the M1 normal version, which is this one right over here, only supports one external display. Now, as you can see, it's working with a triple display setup, but if we want to accomplish this, we will need an accessory, which is the H4. Basically, it will send over USB Type-C a dual HDMI signal, and we will be able to achieve this triple setup even with a computer that it's not compatible, in this particular case, the M1. But if you have a Windows computer with the same limitation, with this accessory, the H4, link down below, you will be able to achieve the same and take full advantage of everything that you are about to see. By the way, if you are using your Windows 10 or 11 to watch this video and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where you can find the budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case, I will leave the link down below just next to this awesome triple setup right over here. That being said, we have a dual setup of displays, 1080 with IPS panels, 60 hertz refresh rate and a lot more. So let's dig in a little bit. So this setup comes with a really nice carrying case, which I believe that it's a nice touch, but I will share with you that I would not use that carrying case that much, although I did enjoy the touch. It is compatible with laptops from 13 inches up to 17.3, and to use it is as simple as using, I don't know, something really simple. They did design this foolproof. So we just need to put our laptop on the position that we want, and then just grab the setup, and we just need to open the extender and snap it in. Simple as that. It has five contact points, one here on the top and then four on the sides with rubber. So there will be no damage, no scratches whatsoever to your new beautiful laptop that you have, regardless of the brand. In terms of adjustments, we can adjust up to almost, I would say, 180 degrees. I would say that this is a weird angle to work, but possible to use. I would prefer something like this. So these are the adjustments that we can do. And then here at the back, we also have a stance available with a really nice design in terms of adjustment that we can put to hold the screens depending on the angle that we have both screens. So the weight difference will detect if we want to use a wider angle or a less wider angle. At this moment, I don't, I'm not using the stand at all. So this would be a really nice way to use it. But if I want it, I could just uh, put it like this. Now, as you can see, it's a matte display right over here. This will show really in a great way 
how we can take advantage of a matte display versus a glossy display. Having that in mind, in terms of the connectivity of each display, each of these displays has a two USB Type-C ports and one mini HDMI port, which means that we can connect any combination of laptop or devices. It doesn't matter if the laptop has self-power or power delivered to be more precise or not. In this particular case, I only have one cable to each of the displays. But if I have an older laptop that doesn't have, I can just connect with the cables provided that we saw on the unboxing, cable to power and cable to mini HDMI. So it will depend on the laptop that we have. In this particular case, both the Asus and also the MacBook, I only connected one cable each. Even my Samsung S20, only one cable. Size-wise, we have 14 inches on each screen, which in this particular case, it's a bit bigger. We have 13.3 and 14, which makes a awesome workspace to work. Each of these panels are IPS with 1080 resolution with 300 nits and 60 hertz refresh rate, offering a very good viewing angles and a non-reflective surface as we have seen a couple of minutes ago, which is just awesome. The colors are vibrant and with a very good contrast as well. And although these specifications don't mention HDR, it can actually be activated so it seems like a bonus on this package as well and the overall experience over the past few days using this setup has been great i've shared in the past that using only one display on a laptop which is on every single laptop is just not enough we will get bored really quickly and when i mean quickly is after one year or two years of working minimizing windows and things like that we will not stand that. So a minimum of two displays and if we can get three, then it will be a perfect setup. If you have any kind of work that requires multiple open windows at the same time or that you would take advantage of that scenario, then it's great. Such a, an email, a browser, maybe a spreadsheet or Word document in one screen. And if you only have one, you will be constantly opening, minimizing and wasting time. With a setup like this, it's seamless without unnecessary pauses. Now, for example, if you want to watch three videos at the same time, you can. It is crazy. We will not do it but it's the freedom to use such a setup and we can just multitask in this particular case, exaggerated video watching. Now, talking about the overall experience, it's not meant for gaming, it's for productivity as we have been talking, but the displays are 60 Hertz refresh rate with 1080 resolution, which means that if we want to play a game, we will be able to do so and enjoy the experience that we have. Now, this will depend on the laptop that we have, the GPU, CPU, and so on and so forth. We all know that. But the truth is that if the laptop can handle the game, the display will be also able to handle it. In terms of the menus, both displays have individual menus. And on the menus, we will find the usual that we find on most monitors, desktop or laptop desktops. We will find options like brightness, contrast, and so on and so forth. The HDR mode is there as well. We can also do one thing, which is to move the OST around the menu itself on the screen, which I believe to be great. And that is it. My verdict is simple right over here. It's easy to assemble, easy to disassemble. Although, in my opinion, I would not take and carry this with me every single day. I do prefer to have this setup ready on my office where I spend most of my time and where I do exactly need to multitask. And then at the end of the day, remove one cable, remove the laptop, take the laptop with me wherever I go. The next day, just bring the laptop and connect one cable and there we go. Ready to start working and take advantage of these displays. Quality of the panels is awesome. The build quality itself, it's also great. It looks like at least similar to carbon fiber, but I believe that it's a mixture of plastic and carbon fiber, but the plastic is strong. So I would say that this will have a really long lifespan, even if you hit it sometimes, which might happen during transportation. Now, in terms of operating systems, available for any operating system that we want, and ultimately will help us to multitask. So I would suggest 
this for anyone that has a work day with a lot of multitasking and it's finding limited to be using just one display and wants to have a better multitasking save time and don't be with that feeling that every time that i know that i'm going to open a window or close i will have to repeat that task many times during the day that's just awful and this will alleviates a lot of that workflow so that being said hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one